Let's see a little bit more about environment. We are in the Mediterranean. Uh, as I said, it's the largest island. So we'll take a helicopter ride over it. We're in the farmland now. You can notice the Comanche helicopter. It's a light at the chopper. It, this development has been cancelled in the real life, but in our universe, in the Armaverse. You may notice the sound gets muffled when I'm flying as a pilot. Every building in the village is enterable. You can spot a solar plant nearby. And there's another city. There's some like 50 cities scattered around the island. Um, and they're fairly big. They can be compared to the cities from our previous projects. Uh, in a, in a small village has some like 100 houses, it's pretty impressive, yeah, but there are the clouds, they are volumetric, they, they are 3D so you can fly through them, and let's see some action. You can see the spent rockets actually leave the empty space in rocket board. We, we all like these details, but it doesn't mean um, we don't concentrate uh, on the game as well. It, it's just this adds a lot to the final presentation. Uh, we've visited the ground, uh, we visited the air, now let's see how we cope with the sea. Uh, Naturally, we have boats, we may have some hovercrafts or stuff like that, uh, but um, Slimnos is an island and um, we want the player to try basically every vehicle in game th uh, throughout the campaign. Um, make naval combat nice, believable, and uh, ships controllable is a part of our mission. Let's start the engine. And bump into something because we got physics for the boats as well. You can see the bay and really nice cliffs. Boom. Uh, all the floating objects uh, uh, with a simulation. And there we go. You can ru run over them. Uh, the boat we are looking at is fictional, uh, but the, it was designed to look wow! It was designed to look as authentic as possible. Uh, there we go. The guys survived. Unbelievable. Uh, you may also ask, why do we have these uh, black guys there in the wetsuits? It's pretty easy. In Arma 3, you can actually go underwater. Uh, we are working with swimmer, swimmer delivery vehicles, uh, but so far you will see only combat divers floating around. Yeah. I'm one of those. So, uh, be it uh, uh, some special operation, some infiltration thing, or uh, uh, if you just want to uh, loot some wreck, you're, you're ready to make it. It's basically a new dimension, uh, and this dimension is actually full of life. We can see, we can see fishes. Come on, fishy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in, uh, so far we have just one species, but uh, uh, we are focusing to make the environment more lively. So even underground there will be like sheep, um, wild goats, rabbits. Um, uh, it just adds a lot, you know. Uh, and we are not just a mindless shooter. Uh, uh, we are slow-paced games. So 
Uh, at some point, um, we, we expect player to just stop, take a look at the environment, enjoy it, and uh, you know, um, if, if he would spot some animal, it can add to the feeling, to the atmosphere a lot.